This is unusual. I mean, keep in mind, this is this so-called hush money case, right, where he allegedly paid off Stormy Daniels via Michael Cohen. Michael Cohen, who like flipped on him, was like Mr. Ra Ra Trump, and then all of a sudden was confronted with the reality of jail time and suddenly was singing a different tune. And they're saying, the feds are trying to say, or Alvin, forgive me, Alvin Bragg is trying to say in this particular case, New York is trying to say, well, we've got him on these charges because you see this is sort of faulty accounting. He paid off Stormy Daniels, AKA Stephanie Clifford with $130,000 by way of Michael Cohen. Now, um, this was already looked at before on the civil side, remember, and what was decided was actually Stormy Daniels owed him money. <laughs> Well, now we're going back with a vendetta, a politically charged vendetta, and Alvin Bragg is trying to prove that there was faulty accounting going on. So let's just, like, look, let's go out on a limb and assume that's the case. Now, he said, okay, I never had anything to do with that woman. She's also issued multiple statements saying there was no affair, but we're not even going to debate that. We're just going to say, okay, you know, he didn't really feel like having this noose around his neck, and there was a picture of them together, and maybe she was saying something, and he felt like, okay, I'm a public person now. I don't want to deal with this. I don't want my kids to deal with this. I don't want my wife to deal with this. Maybe I give her 130 grand and maybe she goes away and signs an NDA, et cetera. So let's like assume that that went down. Well, that's actually legal to do. You can actually give people money and have them sign NDAs. So that happens all the time. And then the question becomes, well, if he had Michael Cohen do it, his lawyer do it, is that a problem? Well, don't lawyers handle this all the time? Now, again, I'm a little out over my skis because I'm the economic expert, not a legal expert. But again, this kind of stuff doesn't seem like it would merit a full-blown trial for the former president of the United States. But let's go to a legal expert, shall we? And that would be Jonathan Turley over on Fox this morning with my very good friend, Maria Bartiromo. She's great, by the way, if you're not watching her show. I'll give, I, I don't usually give Fox a plug, but I'll give Maria a plug. Let's watch Jonathan with her. Telling us, I'm going to put up this letter. This is from Stormy Daniels that President Trump posted. I know you've seen this. It says, Stormy Daniels writes, the fact of the matter is that each party to this alleged affair denied its existence in 2006, 2011, 2016, 2017, and now again in 2018. I'm not denying this affair because I was paid hush money. I'm denying the affair because it never happened, writes Stormy Daniels. Sir. Yeah, everything about this case is, in my view, legally absurd. You know, this case is basically a state misdemeanor that had run out on the statute of limitations. And Bragg was forced, uh, after he declined for a long time to bring this charge, uh, to do so. His predecessor rejected it. Uh, and so they took a, mis a dead misdemeanor and bootstrapped it into effectively trying a federal crime. But the federal crime here under election law was rejected by the Department of Justice. They didn't feel that this should be charged. So you have this crazy case that's going to go forward and it's going to turn on the testimony of people like Michael Cohen. And Michael Cohen just recently had a judge call him a serial perjurer. Wow. Uh, and he's going to appear as the center of this case. Unbelievable. So not exactly who you would really want for your central witness. But here's the problem, ladies and gentlemen. If you got a kangaroo court, does it even matter? Does it matter? It doesn't. Not if you wind up with a jury pool, well, you have a jury pool that overwhelmingly hates Donald Trump, that overwhelmingly more than 80% of New Yorkers voted for Joe Biden. So how the heck do you get a fair jury? I'll tell you this, you don't. You can't even get, for goodness sakes, a fair judge. You can't get a fair judge. The judge himself has a daughter who's raising money off of none other than the very case her dad's there presiding over. He refused to allow this to move to another jurisdiction where you might have a shot of a more balanced jury. He refused to recuse himself from the case. So you get a biased judge. You get undoubtedly a biased jury. This jury selection, by the way, is going on as we speak. In this moment in time, they are selecting jurors. And you know they're going to be asking questions like, hey, what podcast do you listen to? <laughs> if you answer Trish Regan, I have a feeling you're in trouble. Um, 
But, the, but they're trying to find people that maybe don't listen to podcasts, that aren't informed. You really want those people deciding your fate as well, people that are uninformed. They're looking for people that don't have any kind of view in this. And I don't know if you're going to find that in New York City because I'm pretty darn sure everybody <laughs> in New York, it's one of the reasons why it's a troubling place if you're a Trump supporter, to be everybody has an opinion. And generally, those opinions are very anti-Trump, hence the cancel culture in which we now live in. And so they're going after him every which way to Sunday. As Jonathan Turley so well articulated, they've tried looking at this before. It didn't make any sense. They couldn't get the federal charge of the campaign election fraud in there, but somehow now they're coming back at that. I don't entirely, I mean, I, I think he could probably argue, hey, I wasn't president at the time. And I actually wanted to protect my family, so maybe this is an NDA. Listen, this is going to be really, really challenging to prove. That is unless you just get a biased jury that wants to take him down for whatever reason. And Alvin Bragg clearly is under orders from someone, someone higher up. You do this. His predecessor wouldn't.